This is a short video about extending a disadvantage. Start with an overview. At its core, an overview is a short explanation of why your off-case argument is more important than the affirmative advantages. When extending disadvantages, you should usually do your impact calculus as part of the overview. The most common impact calculus arguments are impact outweighs, i.e. the impact to your disadvantage is bigger than the app advantage. Second, your impact is faster or has a better time frame. Third, your impact is more likely or has a greater probability of happening than the app advantages. Disadvantage turns the case, i.e. the problems the affirmative thinks they solve will actually be made worse. If you're trying to extend a DA in four minutes, your overview should be no more than a minute. And even if you're going to use eight minutes, the overview shouldn't be longer than two minutes. After the overview, you should start line by line. Line by line means answering the two AC arguments in the order they were made. If you're doing line by line, you should constantly hear yourself saying, they said X, but, and then you make your arguments. If you don't constantly hear yourself saying, they said X, then you probably aren't doing line by line or you're not doing line by line in the same order that the 2AC went. When doing line by line, try to follow the rule of three to one. The rule of three to one encapsulates the idea that for every 2AC argument, the negative block should try to make at least three responses. Start your responses by referencing any of the arguments you made in the one in C that answer a particular 2AC argument. Do this by stating the argument, then reference the site, Smith, Professor at Penn 19, and then any of the warrants from the card. The second way to start the rule of three to one is to read more evidence. So it's easy to, to accomplish the rule of three to one because you could just read three new cards and you've accomplished it. The third thing that you can do when trying to uh, make at least three arguments in response to every 2AC argument is to make comparisons between your evidence and your opponent's evidence, i.e. give reasons why your evidence is better than any evidence your opponents have read about this particular point. The most common comparisons are, first, warrants. This is usually the best. Specific arguments or data listed in your evidence. Second qualifications. If you have an author or your author is quoting someone that's highly qualified, you want to make reference to that, particularly when your opponent's evidence isn't qualified. Third, recency. This is the easiest one, but usually the weakest. To make this one valuable, you have to be able to explain why recency matters. In a debate about gravity, my evidence from 1970 is probably as good as evidence from 2020. In a debate about the uniqueness for an elections DA, Recency is more likely to be important, but a good recency argument will still know what has changed. So, quick recap when extending a disadvantage. Do an overview, do line by line, try to do the rule of three to one.